Communication is a really important element. Um, the trouble with that, when you say that to some people, it spooks the hell out of them because they think communication, I've got to get up and give set speeches and whatever. Um, of course, if you are a serious leader, then you do have to get up and give set speeches. And look, honestly, there are coaches who can help you with that sort of stuff. You put your ideas down, you, uh, you, you mull them over, you talk with a coach and you, you, know, you, you can get out there and give a, a pretty good performance. So, so I wouldn't worry about that sort of what I would call the megaphone element of, of uh, set piece speeches. We know that communication happens at various levels. You have the dyadic level of person to person, you have group levels, and then you have the corporate levels, and then you have the corporate talking you know, out to stakeholders in society at large. Look, I think the best example I can provide of the sorts of uh, uh, leadership through good communication is what happened in World War II in the United Kingdom. Uh, what happened there was that George VI was the King of England. He had come to the throne unexpectedly because of the uh, abdication of his brother. And the thing with George VI was that he had a terrible stammer. People might remember the, the movie The King's Speech, um, which uh, dealt with that. So he had this terrible stammer. He could barely get out a couple of words without, without stuttering. And so this was something that, that really, really worried him deeply. I'm the King of England, I'm supposed to say something. And some of his set spe uh, piece speeches were in fact pretty awful. But the important thing was that when England was at war with Germany and when he was walking through the rubble of the houses that had been bombed in London and he was walking with Winston Churchill chomping on his cigar, George VI didn't make those big megaphone statements. You know, the very fact that he and his wife were there talking to people, in, interacting with people at that personal level was enormously important. You know, they didn't care if he had a stammer, you know. The fact was that he was showing what in the leadership literature is called individualised consideration. Um, Churchill, on the other hand, he was the megaphone guy. He was the guy who says, you know, we shall defend our island, we shall never surrender. Now see, that was the message, we shall never surrender. That was the message that he got through to people. That was the big picture. But at the individual level, for that person who's just seen their home turned into rubble, what they wanted was consolation, was consideration. And that's what George VI did. So, in a sense, what I'm saying is that communication operates at those various levels, from the dyadic level all the way through to the, uh, the level of what I would call the megaphone. And among the leaders that I've spoken to, um, invariably they will say that they have uh, put a lot of emphasis on that dyadic level of talking to people individually. Not to go around and snoop, but to go around and say, look, here I am, you know, I don't just sit up in the eerie looking down on, on the peasants, you know, I'm here talking to you. I remember one person in particular who was the uh, head of the uh, a department in a public prosecutor's area, and she was dealing with people who were articulate, intelligent, but highly intense uh, sort of area. They were the people appearing in court. And a lot of them were younger people who were a little bit nervous about getting out there. And she said to me she would spend a quarter of an hour each day walking around, just knocking on each door, saying, G'day, how are you going? You know, and it might have just ended at that. But sometimes they would, she would pick up on a thing where someone's having some problems at home. There's a sick child or an elderly parent or something like that. Something's going wrong. And she would remember that and she would, she would uh, in the next couple of days, she would make sure that she would check in again and say, how's, how's the child going? Um, whilst this mightn't work for everyone, one thing she used to, uh, used to say was uh, she would, was prepared to use the word love. <laughs> and she would say, you know, well, you know, I love you, you know, and, and walk out. Now, you know, for some bosses, that <laughs> that's definitely not going to work. But she got away with it. But um, so, so that individualised consideration is, is the other end of that sort of that megaphone uh, area, which is also important, I would argue.